Hi everyone, welcome back to Bourbon Battles. I'm Joe. And I'm Chad. Chad told me not to holler today, so if you follow along, you'll know what that means. If this is your first time, you probably think we're just a couple of dipshits. Why are you going to cuss? Well, because that's what they'll think we are. Good. All right, let's get back to normal. So, hopefully you follow along, hopefully you follow us on all of our social media. If you don't, go to Bourbon Battles Blind. Dot com find links to all that good stuff including patreon and today is a special day why is that because we're going to try whiskey and we don't know what it is well that's always a special day that's what i'm saying and we're going to do it today it makes today a special day tell everybody why we don't know what we're drinking when we drink whiskey i don't know why don't we know because we don't give a rat's ass what's on the label we just like good whiskey fair fair could be right back with you So this is how this works. Either Chad or I, probably Chad, are going to get in the bucket over here. We got a bucket of envelopes that have whiskey in them, little two ounce sample bottles, and there's an answer key in a separate sealed envelope. And we don't even know what's in the bucket. The ones that I put in there forever ago are already gone, I think. So you didn't even know what went in the envelopes. No. And there's ten or twelve of them left in there. So we're going to drink surely, surely blind, surely blind, surely, surely. Purely, purely blind. It's hot in here. It's hot in here. It's July, bud. I was at a golf outing and it was 52 degrees. In July? June. Yeah. It's the next best thing. So let's just get into it. You've been playing a lot of golf? I don't play golf. You're a regular Jack Nicholas, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. They call me the bear. So envelope, two bottles in there, sealed answer key. I let Chad take it, but all he does is shake it around. One of these days, we're going to have an accident here. Answer key for later. <clears throat> so, the gentleman that I met last evening at the concert, i sorry, I do not remember your name. However, if you see this and comment, it would be much appreciated. Oh, you met? Did he recognize you at the yeah, concert? Yeah, he, he caught, got me out of the crowd. Did he get you to sign something? He didn't even ask. I, mean, I, I didn't want to sign anything. That doesn't make sense. I, I mean, you'd think they'd have to sign something. No. Huh? So one and two? Gagaboo. What's that mean? Uh, that means this is number one and this is number two. This is number two? Is that what you said? Yep. Number one and number two? Easy. We got to do a lot of these today. Nope. We're doing 12 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to need an Ubers. <laughs> That's a fact. That's got a pretty good nose on it. Is that it. right? Is it good? You taste it. See what you think. If this is your first time watching, this is just how we act all the time. Why don't we tell them about tasting notes? We want to talk about tasting no, notes. No, I said, why don't we? Why don't we do tasting notes? Yeah. Because they're stupid. <laughs> now, let's do some, a little bit of clarification. On that. We actually don't think tasting notes are stupid. We just think they're stupid to talk about. I think they're really stupid when you talk about white pepper and ground cinnamon and dandelion leaves Nutmeg and, and yeah yeah baking spices with a, a dark extra dark clove stone fruit is compared to light stone fruit right hey and if you're a whiskey drinker and you get all that stuff good on you but we're not those people you all right bud well right, that's an all both of them oh by the way do you remember carly your number one fan my friend matt's daughter no she graduated in high school, so congratulations on your big Brown. day, Carly. Avon. Are they the Orioles? I think so. Huh. Now that I say that, it might be Brownsburg. Bulldogs. She might be a Bulldog. <laughs> she wants a shirt that says Chad's number one fan. It's pot stilled. Shut up. <laughs> I've had number one before. I'd say we probably have had both of these before. Odds are. How many different whiskeys do you think you've tried in your life? More than 99% of the people on the planet. <laughs> what about Fred Minnick? Who? Some guy on TV. I don't know who that is. These are really similar. I'm ready when you are, Chief. 
I'm gonna hit him with a little water, bud. You need a pipette? Mm-hmm. I threw my back out the other day, so it's hard to get down here and get it. Ask me how I threw out my back. Probably holding your chair down, be my guess. Just bending over to pick something up. No. Hit those with a drop too, if you don't mind, while you're doing it. What do you mean holding my chair down? I said. <laughs> I think water actually helps, number one. I don't say that very often. You let it simmer. Yeah. Let it soak in. Let it open up. You know, like a, a seed does when it gets a lot of water and sunshine, it just kind of opens that's up. That's what whiskey sprouts. does. Maybe that's where you get cardamom when you let it do that long enough and white pepper. And We're about to find out. <laughs> I'd started to say, we actually don't think tasting notes are stupid. We just think that... We Everybody doesn't get the same tasting notes, therefore we don't really talk about it unless it's extremely prevalent. You know, I think water helps, number one. You don't? Mm -hmm. Like you'll hear us talk about butterscotch sometimes, like in certain things. We've had a few things. Sometimes you get a cherry. Those, if it's a really prevalent note, we will say it. Right. These taste like traditional bourbon to me. I get a lot of the OF barrel picks. I taste cherries, but I just usually don't say it because a lot of people Because do. I don't get cherries. Yeah, that's what I mean. But I love them just what as about much peanuts? as peanuts. I get peanuts in everything that Jim Beam and Heaven Hill makes. And I don't get in any of them. These are not Heaven Hill and Jim Beam, I don't think. No, that doesn't hold true 100% of the time. We got a cheeseburger today at the grill bar that could affect it. Ready. I say one of these is a little better. Down there in that corner now. I would say better but close. So you, you think on three? One, two, three. We're different. So we go in these spurts. We were the same for a long time. We've been. I think that uh, I think water made them both worse, but I think number one drank better with water, and I think number one drank better without water. That's the one you pick. But it's just it's just barely. So that's the one. I, you want to go first? You want to sure go second? I will. You go first. Woodford Reserve Wheat Whiskey. Would you have guessed it was wheat? No, it's, it's only the second time I've ever tasted it. So I think I can. Here it is. 52% wheat, 20% malted barley, 20% corn, and 8% rye. A little red wrapper on there. This is wheat whiskey, which means it's uh, it's not bourbon. Wheat whiskey. Let's see what this is. What do you, th you think it's another wheat whiskey? Bernheim wheat whiskey. I'm going to come up here and snag this. We about had a meltdown. You want to hold that up while I read? Bernheim. And I'd said these weren't uh, Heaven Hill, and by golly it is, but it's wheat whiskey. 90 proof, 7 years old, 51 wheat, 37 corn, 12 mal malted barley. So they're very, very, very close in mash bill and age. Um, and you said they were better but close, which means you have just you just had to pick one. Pretty much. I just, like I said, I just thought number one drink better with water and without water. That's all. There's also another wheat whiskey that we've done. Um, Journeyman Distillery that got very high accolades. I'd like to try that against these. They're wheat whiskey. Do you know of any other wheat whiskeys that are prevalent in the market? The dog's going crazy. Who else? Somebody else makes one. I don't know. If there's somebody I can think of it, they can tell us. Put it in the comments below. Hey, did you like that? Was that fun? Sure. Fun for you, fun for me. Fun times. Hey, drinking whiskey is supposed to be fun. Do it with your friends. Do it blind. Do it responsibly. What else? Why don't we do it blind? More, most important. Do stuff like this at home. You can find one of your kids, one of your, your spouse, your partner, your neighbor. Somebody will pour these up for you and not tell you what's what. And Or who's who. In the canoe? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So the best way to do it, in my opinion, is not to say, okay, I want to drink these two blind. That's a great way to do it, right? I want to see which one of these I like better. <clears throat> I think these are priced the same. Right. The problem is if you get somebody that doesn't know anything about it, they're liable to pour you this with a bottle of Michter's Rye. You know what I mean? Yeah. You want to so, do similar things, right. similar proofs. Um, and my opinion is the reason why we have a ton of different things in the bucket is we don't know if we're drinking wheat whiskey, rye whiskey, bourbon whiskey, scotch whiskey. It could be one of 500 things, right? As long as it's not light whiskey, I'm good with it. I thought you liked white whiskey. 
White whiskey's all right. Light, light, light whiskey. Not so much. Have you got that obtainium in the mail yet? No, I don't know if I'm getting it. That's pretty good light whiskey, bud. You can't taste it because once you taste a sip of it, you're burned for three days. Obtainium. You know, a wise guy told me one time. A wise about, guy or a mm -hmm. smart guy? A wise guy. Yeah. Told me that the whole shenanigans with Canadian whiskey. Yeah. Because, like, if you buy, if you get a bottle of 30 year Canadian Club, that has taken 30 years to age as long as a five year whiskey in Kentucky. Because it's because the nature of, of it. Because of the climate. Uh, you know, but it is, I think everybody should go try those Canadian whiskeys, those scotches, those Irish whiskeys. I have a fun fact. Let's hear it. <clears throat> if you get a box of Canadian Club, look up the DSP number on it. You told me this. Who, who makes it? OGD. Old Granddad, which is Jimmy Beam. Yep. So uh, we actually both found an Irish whiskey last week. We did a... Red Breast, which I had never tasted, and I thought it was pretty good. I'm actually going to be on the hunt for a Red Breast 12 cast strength now after having that. I like... Yeah, I like Gerard's it. Gerard's going to be down in Ireland try to find one for me. And we have some more uh, expressions outside of Jameson from that distillery that we need to try. So those are fun to try, right? New stuff. Uh, you tried this, right? Floki out of Iceland. Mm -hmm. I wasn't a fan. Do you like any malted whiskey, though? Awesome. Yeah. So anyway, we started to say it. Drinking blind. Set these up at home. Uh, try not to know what's going on. You might be really surprised. You gu guarantee you're going to be really surprised. You're going to be like, I'm such a fool. So that's <laughs> kind of what we do on our Patreon page, right? Guys will send send up. Is that Mike? Speaking of Patreon, he's not on there. It's him. It's unknown, bud. He's probably blocking it, so you answer it. So the guys on Patreon will send a couple of these around, totally blind. You report back on Facebook and say, this is what I thought. This is what I picked, kind of like what we do. And then we all look silly, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of fun. So do it blind. Do it with your friends. Do it responsibly. But don't get behind the wheel. What, nope. do, you th what do you think you should do? Oh, if you drink, don't drive to the watermelon crawl.